Okay. Are you sick of your game running terribly? Are you getting the constant stutters and freezing? If so, here's a settings guide to make sure you're getting the best out of Escape from Tarkov in patch 0.15. If you're just looking to fix the issues with freezing, I'll have it timestamped down below. Skip straight ahead. If you want to make sure your settings are up to date, watch the whole video, drop us a comment down below. Make sure you subscribed if you're not. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first, we're going to search for the game mode setting in Windows. Make sure this is switched on. From here, go to your related settings and click into graphics. From here, make sure you're clicking on escape from Tarkov.exe. Options, and make sure your GPU is set to high performance. Once you've done that, we're going to head on over to NVIDIA Control Panel. Click in the bottom right hand corner, right click, open the NVIDIA Control Panel, and now we're going to go through some settings in here. First off, make sure that you're in the program settings for Escape from Tarkov, otherwise you're going to be making changes to your global settings. Make sure you toggle to the correct setting at the top here. If Escape from Tarkov isn't shown in this list, you can add that by hitting the Add button. It takes a second or so, and then in this list here. If you can't find it in the list, you can go to where you've installed Escape from Tarkov and add the EXE to the list. Okay, let's go through this. All of the settings in bold are settings I have changed. I'll go through this list and simply copy the changes I have made to each of the icons in bold. Of course, make sure your actual GPU is selected here. Now we're going to go into color settings. Now this is just what I use to make sure I can see the best I can. So to make sure you're making changes to the actual monitor you're using, change the color settings from individual channel to all channels. Now I run this at 70% plus brightness, 70% plus contrast, 1.25 gamma, 55% increase of digital vibrance. This combined with my post FX settings means I can see into shadows and any moving objects stand out to me clearly without causing too much stress on my eyes. I don't like a super vibrant game, so if that's what you're going for and you like the look of my stream, copy these settings. As for actual game settings, there's a few new additions. So you got the standard stuff, make sure your language is correct and you can choose your icon. Okay, quick slot I have on auto hide simply because I like taking screenshots. Same with stamina, I like to have a nice clear clean shot. Health condition I always show when I'm running PvP because it helps you understand what's broken and what's not. Okay, health and colour um, I have in, you choose your own preference. I just like it to stand out in colour. Now, double click for using raid is a really useful one actually. Make sure that's in raid only so you're not going to accidentally use stims in your hideout. The wish list, I have everything disabled simply because I don't like it messing things up. I like to add things to my wish list to make it easier to buy things off the flea. Automatic RAM cleaner is important. Turn this on, it now works in Tarkov. Only use physical calls is one for AMD CPUs I would highly recommend using. And FOV, head bobbing up to you but head bobbing should be as low as possible to stop that nauseous feeling fov choose your own preference okay into graphic settings make sure your resolution matches the resolution of your monitor super simple make sure it's correct i run borderless because i like to tab in and out of application full screen is going to give you a slight fps increase vsync is switched off texture qualities this should be high this really helps you see. Shadow quality is low. Do not have your shadow quality high at all. 
LOD, you can bring this down to two and a half, and then overall visibility a thousand. Okay, I run these slightly higher just because I like to get better screenshots. This is huge. Power quality, make sure you have this set on high. This is what's causing so many stutters and freezes. Cloud quality on low is causing lots and lots of issues. Anti-aliasing, I have on TAA high. DLSS, DLSS off. Use this if you've got a lower end system. DLSS is getting better and better. I have screen based reflections and HBAO off. Make sure resampling is off too. Um, low latency mode I have off also. Sharpness I have on 0 0.8. This works for me. You choose your own preference here. Make sure that your FPS limit is on max. Okay, high quality color. I think this is really important for making the game look nice. But if you're not bothered about that, turn it off. As for all others, grass shadows, it does make it look slightly better, but it makes it harder to see in those shadows. MIP streaming, if you've got some older RAM where you're running um, less than 32 gig of RAM. And Streets of Tarkov lower texture resolution mode, I used to always run this on. However, more recently, I am turning this to off because it looks absolutely like Play-Doh. Post FX. This is the post effect settings I run. Okay, I turn my brightness down to zero during the day. And then if it's super foggy, I turn it all the way down. And if I'm running at night time, I turn this all the way up. I have my color grading set to feather. So I can turn it up to 100% when we're running NVGs. So that NVGs aren't going to ruin my eyes. This makes it nice and black and white and stops that strain from looking at a really bright color. Audio. Binaural audio is switched on. Turn the music volume off, interface volume down. This is pretty simple. There are not many audio settings in Escape from Tarkov. Again, another reminder, make sure your cloud quality is set to high. Having this on low will cause lots and lots of issues. Okay, that's everything. Remember, if you're not subscribed, get subscribed now, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh yeah, you made it this far? Make sure you go and follow the Switch. I'm trying to go live more and more often. Links down below.